Hey friends, today we are going to discuss multiple choice questions on accounting for capital restructuring and specifically in capital restructuring we will focus on the internal reconstruction of the company. So first question asks us dash is a corporate action that involves changing the mixture of debt and equity in the capital structure of company. So it is a corporate action which results in the change in capital structure. So that uh, corporate action is known as capital restructuring, right? In case of capital restructuring, the capital structure of the company is changed. So here option B is the right answer. Next question asks us in dash the existing company is closed and new company is formed to take over the business. See options are external reconstruction, internal reconstruction, capital reconstruction. See friends, in capital re reconstruction, we have two options. We can restructure our capital either with internal reconstruction or external reconstruction. So see friends, uh, there are two ways of capital re reconstruction basically. That is external reconstruction and internal reconstruction. So in case of external reconstruction, the existing company is closed and new company is formed to take over the business, right? And in case of internal reconstruction, a new company, old company is not liquidated, right? So here for uh, particularly for this uh, question, uh, external reconstruction is the answer. So sentence will be in external reconstruction, the existing company is closed and new company is formed to take over the business. So here option A is the right answer. Next question asks us, dash is a process where the capital structure of a company is reorganized without liquidating the company. And options are financial reconstruction, external reconstruction, capital reconstruction and internal reconstruction. So as I discussed in previous questions that basically in capital re re uh, reconstruction or restructuring, there are two ways, internal reconstruction and external reconstruction. Okay. So in case of external reconstruction, new companies form and old companies liquidated. And in case of internal reconstruction, companies not liquidated. So this question asks us dash is the process where the capital structure of companies reorganized without liquidating the company it means old company is not wound up or liquidated right so here internal reconstruction is the uh, answer for this question that is the, the sentence is internal reconstruction is a process where the capital structure of companies reorganized without liquidating the company Okay, right. So here option D is the right answer. Next question asks us internal reconstruction includes which of the followings. Okay. So friends see up till now we have discussed the multiple choice questions related to the capital restructuring, internal reconstruction and external reconstruction. Right. Now uh, specifically the question will be uh, focused on internal reconstruction and this fourth question asks us internal reconstruction includes which of the following options are alteration of share capital reduction of share capital and variations of shareholders right friends see in internal reconstruction all of these three steps can be taken or all of these three activities are construct uh, are considered as the part of internal reconstruction right so here option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says which of the following is not the legal requirement for alteration of share capital. Now company wants to alter its share capital. In that case, what will be the legal requirements and options are authorized by article. Yes, the alteration of capital must be authorized by the article of association of the company. See friends article of association and memorandum of association. These two are the fundamental documents of the company. Uh, actually, without the uh, memorandum of association, company cannot be registered, right? And along with memorandum of association, there is an article of association, right? So the alteration of share capital must be authorized by articles. Then share, uh, second option says resolution in general meeting, yes. So resolution of shareholders in general meeting is required for alteration of share capital. Next third point says notice must be given to registrar of company. Yes, as it is a legal procedure, 
the notice must be given to the registrar of company so here the, all these three are the legal requirement but look at the fourth point it says advertisement in newspaper so for alteration of share capital there is no need to give advertisement in the newspaper right and this question asks us that which of the following is not the legal requirement right so option d that is advertisement in newspaper is not the legal requirement for alteration of share capital so here option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says the authorized capital of company is given in the dash of company see friends authorized capital of the company is given in the memorandum of association of the company right as uh, we discussed that memorandum of association and article of association these two are the fundamental documents for the company without which company cannot be registered right so the this document memorandum of association it includes various clauses like name clause capital clause and other clauses right so uh, in uh, capital clause the authorized capital of the company is given so here option c is the right answer that is uh, memorandum of association and its uh, uh, capital clause contains the information about the authorized capital right authorized capital is also known as the registered capital so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question and it asks us when there is a reduction in the share capital share capital account is see friends this is the only situation where share capital account is debited okay the sentence says when there is a reduction in the share capital so obviously share capital account will be debited right so here uh, option b is the right answer when there is reduction in the share capital share capital account is debited let us move on the next question and it says when share capital account is debited dash is credited see this question is related to the previous question uh, question number eight asks us when share capital account is debited right now share capital like account is debited in that case dash account is credited so as this question is specifically related to internal reconstruction of the company so we know that in internal reconstruction of company one account is open for this purpose that account is known as capital reduction account and when share capital account is debited the balance which is debited to share capital account is transferred to capital reduction account right so for this question uh, option c is the right answer that is when share capital account is debited capital re reduction account is credited let us move on the next question and it asks when debenture holders or creditors make sacrifice of their claim dash account is credited see friends in case of internal reconstruction we know that we have to eliminate the accumulated losses the scheme of internal reconstruction is generally carried out in a company to uh, wipe out the accumulated losses and uh, uh, make uh, the assets at their fair value in the books okay so here this uh, question number 9 asks us when debenture holders or creditors make sacrifice of their claim dash account is created so whenever uh, the liability is reduced at the time of internal reconstruction the capital reduction account is credited right see friends whatever amount uh, required for internal reconstruction is transferred to capital reduction account and then that amount is utilized to uh, eliminate and write up the uh, uh, eliminate to eliminate the fictitious assets and to uh, write down the assets right so for this per, uh, question number 9 when debenture holders and creditors make sacrifice of, of their claim uh, capital reduction account is credited so here option b is the right answer next question asks us if contingent liability is paid at the time of internal reconstruction capital reduction account is dash see friends uh, this cap contingent liability so what is this see basically contingent liability is a liability which depends on the happening of certain event in the future it is not liability at pre present it depends on the outcome of future event like suppose there is a case against our organization for the compensation uh, which is made by the employee in that case there are two possibilities either that employee uh, can 
uh, have favor in that case or our organization can have a favor in that case right specifically it means if the results in in the in the favor of employee then company has to pay compensation but if the result of that court case is in the favor of company then there is no need to pay the compensation to the employee right so that type of liability is considered as contingent liability now this question asks if contingent liability is paid at the time of internal reconstruction capital reduction account is dash so as this is contingent uh, liability which is not uh, previously in the books and now it has arisen so in this case we have to uh, debit the capital reduction account and utilize the balance okay so here option a is the right answer right if contingent liability is paid at the time of internal reconstruction capital reduction account is debited so here option a is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says when fictitious assets and accumulated losses are written off dash account is debited so as uh, i have already mentioned in previous questions then when we uh, write up fictitious assets and accumulated losses from the balance sheet we debit the capital reduction account see friends the main purpose of internal reconstruction is to uh, write out the fictitious assets and accumulated losses so here option b is the right answer right when fictitious assets and accumulated losses are written off uh, capital reduction account is debited balance of capital reduction account is transferred to see the balance if there is a credit balance in capital reduction account after the scheme of internal reconstruction is completed then that balance is transferred to capital uh, capital reserve account so your option b is the right answer see friends you must have observed up till now that most of the questions are related to capital reduction account right because in the scheme of internal reconstruction the most important account is capital reduction account because see uh, whenever we uh, reduce the share capital or liability the balance of uh, that is transferred to capital reduction account initially it means initially the capital reduction account is credited and then the balance of capital reduction account is utilized to write out the fictitious assets and accumulated losses right now i hope that why this uh, capital reduction account is so important in internal reconstruction right so here for question number 10 balance of capital reduction account is transferred to capital reserve account so here option b is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says alteration of share capital includes which of the following now if company wants to alter its share capital which of the following can be the options so first option is consolidation of shares second is subdivision of shares cancellation of shares so see friends when company wants to alter its share capital company can do it either by consolidation of shares subdivision of shares or cancellation of share so all the first three options are related to alteration so here uh, option d all of these is the right answer next question asks us the dash account is temporary account open for internal reconstruction purpose so we have already discussed that capital reduction account is a temporary account open for internal reconstruction purpose right capital reduction account is open for this specific purpose only and uh, at the end of the internal reconstruction if there is a balance in capital reduction account it is transferred to capital reserve account right so basically it is a capital reduction account is a temporary account open for internal reconstruction so here option c is the right answer right let us move on the next question and it says expenses incurred on internal reconstruction are dash to capital reduction account so whatever expenses incurred at the time of internal reconstruction so obviously those expenses will be debited to capital reduction account so here option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and it asks us preliminary expenses and balance of profit and loss account shown on asset side is considered as dash asset see preliminary expenses and balance of profit and loss account shown on asset side so we know that if there is a credit balance in profit and loss account we show it on the liability side 
and if there is debit balance in profit and loss account we show it on the asset side it means uh, if there is a loss in profit and loss account we show it on the asset side so see friends this profit and loss account debit balance it is not actual assets right it is not actual assets so it is considered as the fictitious assets and similarly these preliminary expenses those are the expenses still we are showing those expenses on asset side right because see preliminary expenses are one time expenses and the, those expenses are uh, right of over a period of time like uh, if a company is established and incurred a preliminary expenses of rupees 5 lakh then instead of charging those 5 lakh rupees for a single year those preliminary expenses can be charged over a period of time depending on the company policy so until those preliminary expenses are uh, totally written uh, off they are shown on the asset side so those preliminary expenses and debit balance of profit and loss account are shown on asset side and these types of assets are known as fictitious assets because those assets are not actual assets or real assets right so for this question option b is the right answer let us move on the next question and it asks us uh, capital reduction means reduction in dash value uh, of shares so see friends capital reduction means reduction in uh, market value fair value paid up value or cost value so obviously capital reduction means reduction in the paid up value of shares right see when company reduces its capital company reduces the paid up value of uh, its shares so here option c is the right answer next question asks us dash means converting shares of smaller face value into shares of larger face value see this question asks us the process of converting shares of smaller face value like if the share face value of shares is 10 rupees okay we have to convert that into a larger face value like share of 10 rupees is converted into rupees 100 face value so in the if this process is basically known as uh, consolidation of shares in this process the number of shares get decrease okay so if, if, if you observe the sentence carefully you can guess the answer like dash means converting shares of smaller face value into shares of larger face value okay which results into decrease in number of shares so number of shares get decrease and when number of shares get decreased because of the uh, change in its face value it is known as consolidation of shares so here option c is the right answer for question number 18 let us move on the next question and next question asks us dash means converting shares of larger face value into shares of smaller face value so this is contrary to consolidation of uh, shares right in previous question we we discussed question that uh, when shares are uh, shares of a smaller face value are converted into larger face value it is known as consolidation of shares now this question asks us dash means converting shares of larger face value into uh, shares of smaller face value for example share of 100 rupees is uh, 100 rupees face value is converted into share of 10 rupees face value so in this case number of shares uh, number of shares get increased and this process is known as subdivision of shares right when number of shares get increase it is subdivision of shares and when number of shares get decrease it is consolidation of shares so for this question number 19 question says that when larger face value shares are converted into smaller face value and which results in increase in number of shares so this process is known as subdivision of shares so here option b is the right answer right let us move on the next question and it asks us about the main purpose of internal reconstruction is to dash accumulated losses so as we have already discussed that the main purpose of internal reconstruction is to eliminate accumulated losses whatever accumulated losses are in the balance sheet of company uh, we have to eliminate in the uh, internal reconstruction process so here option d is the right answer for question number 20 let us move on the next question and it says internal reconstruction requires the approval of so first point says quote shareholder creditors friends see 
internal reconstruction requires approval of courts shareholders as well as creditors so here all of these option d is the right answer next question says the main purpose of internal reconstruction is to see this question is again on the main purpose of internal reconstruction so as uh, we have already discussed that to eliminate accumulated losses second option is bring asset to their true values so see friends along with uh, eliminating accumulated losses the purpose of internal reconstruction is also to bring assets to their true value okay so uh, option a and b both are correct so here uh, option d is the right right answer that both a and b uh, are the correct right so friends here uh, we have discussed the important multiple choice questions on accounting uh, for capital restructurings and uh, related to internal reconstructions if you like the video please share it with your friends and uh, make sure to subscribe our channel so that you can uh, get new updates from our channel thank you thanks for watching